Oh, uh, hi, and welcome to Reboot Theater. I am host Tommy Wiseau. The usual guy couldn't be here because he's cranky today. <laughs> today we are looking at a masterpiece movie about my masterpiece movie. It is called Disaster Artist. Based on true story of my life, Disaster Artist showed just how much blood, sweat, and tears go into making the most amazing film of all time. And also my movie. <laughs> it starred James Franco as me, Dave Franco as my best friend Greg, and a whole bunch of other famous people not as talented as me. I, I mean, really, I'm acting God, guys. You can't compete with that. But let's see if this movie do justice. This is Disaster Artist. The movie opens with celebrities talking about my movie, The Room. The kind of sheer ambition of it is, is in incredible. I don't know these will go there except for one. Hey! I hate Lizzie Kaplan! She's so annoying! You're tearing me apart, Lizzie! The story begins with my best friend Greg Sestero in an acting class. He okay, but he needs someone to take him to the next level. So I show him how he's done. Oh, brilliant. Really, someone give me my Oscar now. And then Greg tells me how brilliant I am and asks for me to teach him my ways. And I'm like, sure, I got time to kill. Why not have a best friend? So I teach Greg to be all spontaneous and go after what he wants in life. Well, that's the scene. Oh, you, you, wanna, you wanna do a scene here? Are you not a dedicated actor? I'm dedicated. I just, there, you know, there's like people eating and I just don't. I don't care about these people. Come on, you have to do it. I, I mean, what is he, chicken? Cheep, 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 cheep. He's got to learn to be wild and random like me. Because real life is wild and random. Never touch bell wire in a thunderstorm. Oh, wow. Nor ring a bell of any sort. Wow. How about this guy? <laughs> wow. Thank you. Wow. So we're moving together in my LA apartment, but don't worry, he's not weird or anything. I want you to be my guest, like Beauty and Beast. I will be beauty, of course. Of course. Haha. <laughs> you know, I must say, James Franco really gives my essence. It's not easy to duplicate my angelic voice, but he gets pretty close. I mean, you know, sometimes. You are tearing me apart, Lisa! Hey, you devil! You're not good! You, you, you're not doing the hands right! They calm down slower! Well, the rest of the time you are good, so I look past it. Forget and forget, that's me. So Greg and I try to get famous, but everybody in Hollywood betray me. Just because you want it, doesn't mean it can happen. Maybe. I'm not saying maybe, I'm saying not in a million years. But after that? And not after. I ask because I'm actually going to live that long. I mean, I'm not alien. I, I am human guy. I'm from New Orleans. I'm normal. So then Greg's like, I'm fed up with this world. Let's make our own movie. And then I say, good thinking. And write an original movie script. I ask Greg to play the role of Mark and he hesitates. Ah, at the wrong, I taught you. I taught you to be spontaneous. And by the way, how is your sex life? Oh, look, Greg's girlfriend in a movie and played by Dave Franco's real life wife. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant work casting your ass in Brie. I'm going to go take a nap. Eventually he agree and we start filming my masterpiece. What line? What a line? I did not hit her. It's not true. It's bull****. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. Are you going to film with all that stuff in your pocket? I keep my stuff, sweetie. Okay, can I at least take a photo of your continuity? Continuity in your forehead. What is line? I did not hit her. It's not true. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. I hit her. No. I did not hit her. It's not true. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. 
Okay, okay, so maybe I'm not the most easiest person to work with, but real great art requires hard work. Uh, except for me, because I'm star of the show. I'm the boss and I can do whatever I want. If I want to show up four hours late, I do it. If I don't want to learn my lines, I'll all bother. And if I want to replace an actor, but not tell him he's fired, and still film all of his scenes, but not record anything, just so I don't have to break the news to him, no really, I did that, then I do it! That's why I'm a filmmaker! Now I get to pass other people around! I'm hungry. I really like this, huh? He's real good, huh? So anyway, everybody is fed up with me. They think I'm villain for making the work 12 hours with no water and sticking my penis in a woman's belly button. But I'm not villain, I'm beautiful! You're villains! How you not shame? The movie finally is finished just a little behind schedule. And then... Oh yeah, and then I get nervous because no one showed up to my movie. I am afraid they don't like me and that I am a fool. Eventually more people show up and I think they are going to like it. This is my chance to prove everyone wrong. I will prove I'm greatest filmmaker in the world. At first, everybody is quiet. No doubt taken in by the sheer magnificence of it, eh? But then as the film goes on, people start laughing at it. There you go, keep the change. Hi doggy. You're my favorite customer. And then I think, maybe they were laughing at me. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> but like a good neighbor, Grace is thorough is there. And he tells me that I've done something great without even realizing it. And yeah, maybe it didn't turn out exactly as you hoped. But just listen for a second. How much fun they're having. So I'm like, <laughs> what a funny story, Greg. And I go back into bully applause. I'm glad you like my comedic movie. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, it was meant to be stupid. Yeah, yeah, that works. Yeah. And after the credits roll, there is one more handsome actor I feel the need to point out. Why are you saying against a wall? Look, I'm just a guy leaning on a wall. No, no big deal. Why are you so lonely? Tell me. What? I'm just standing here alone. Don't mean I'm lonely. You need help. I, I see it. People are very strange this day. Oh, hi, Betty. What are these friends Greg have? Oh, hi, Tommy. I didn't know it was you. <laughs> and that was Disaster Artist. You know it's good when you have me in it. I mean, really, the movie was pretty good before. But when I came on screen, I was like, wow. This is almost as good as my movie. Almost. Let's not get too full of ourselves. So, yeah, I recommend this movie to any fan of the room. And if you haven't seen the room, how dare you talk to me like that? You are tearing me apart, Internet! See the room, and then see the disaster artist, which is the making of the room. You probably already know that, but I just wanted to make sure. It's a hilarious movie. I'm Tommy Wiseau, and I really enjoyed this slice of ha. Huh. Oh yeah, one more thing. Ha huh is thick crust pizza with extra red sauce, green peppers, spinach, and fresh tomatoes on top. It's really good, huh?